Hey, how's it going guys? Zerai here. So today I wanted to bring in my review for Far Cry 6. I want to specify that I have played this game on my PlayStation 5. So, you know, I've got an opportunity playing this as a 60 FPS. And mind you, 60 FPS is already a bonus for this, for sure. This game is meant to be played as a 60 FPS. It is incredible experience and I absolutely, absolutely love that. Now, I want to clarify one thing first and say regarding, for you know, I'll get into the story, right? Okay, now the story is quite interesting in terms of Far Cry games, because one thing for sure, we finally have our own voiced and as well seen character. And on top of that, with the cutscenes, at least the main cutscenes, are all in third person. I like that. It's a very big bonus, a very big plus. Mainly because, of course, uh, we get to see who we are as Danny Rojas, and so we're kind of be seeing his personality, his characteristics, what his motivations are, and there aren't as well. And right, and that's the thing about the negative, the motivations. Like I just don't see the motivation of him actually being, uh, you know, a gorilla, and so actually, you know helping basically you know and i'm pretty much practically being a one-man army <laughs> but yeah so anyway let's continue as far cry i guess it is somewhat typical i want to say one of the positives that there's a quite a wide selection of weapons that you can definitely try it on and ex experiment but the negative impact about that is regarding of the bullets because this game still tries to be a little bit more rpg like so obviously you'll have to pay attention to what bullets you have on your weapons uh one main issue, and this is the big, big, big problem with this game. I was not en enticed to actually change my weapons up, right? I found one particular weapon that I really liked. And I shouldn't even say that I liked, but it was because it was so effective, right? And because of this particular weapon, I kept at it since like the beginning of the game. So it was like, I believe it was a rifle uh, that had armor piercing rounds. And majority weapons that I was facing off, armor piercing rounds was doing its job. And But that's an issue. Because of this, I didn't really try or bother going with different routes of weapons. I didn't bother with the bone arrow, but even though I did play with it, by the way, I didn't bother uh, with the hand cannon uh, and basically, you know, going with different sorts of weapons and shotguns as well, LMGs. Like, again, I have tried those uh, weapons out, but, you know, after experiencing a weapon that has armor piercing rounds and it's quite, quite strong one shot headshot to the uh, armored uh, enemies, you know, why the hell would I use anything else except that, right? Uh, another negative thing is definitely Resolver weapons. They're not good. Like, you know, Resolver, let me get this one of the weapons in particular, is a flamethrower. The flamethrower isn't very good. It's not. It takes way too long to burn up the enemies. Again, I'm sure you'll be saying, like, well, you have to be aiming at the correct enemies that have weakness towards fire. Again, where are those enemies? There's just not that many of them. And most of the enemies, they go down easy if you have armor piercing rounds, and that's it. One shot to the headshot, if not, just obliterate them as quickly as that. You see, like, um, resolver weapons are not very done well. Now, I've experienced with three different particular weapons, uh, mainly. It was one with the, uh, with the discs that you can shoot at, uh, shoot out, and that was actually... Somewhat effective, but again, comparing this to my armor-piercing weapon is just not as good, and nor was the shotgun with the shield. That was useless. That was useless. <laughs> okay, now, uh, let's get into uh, a little bit more on a positive side, is the regarding of the customizations in those weapons especially. That's a big bonus. I actually like that. I can see my weapons, they change in terms of the aesthetics and also uh, visually. And then they have also charm next to it that you can actually ch change. I really like that. I like it makes it a nice little touch towards the gameplay that you get to see plenty of times. Uh, not a definitely big bonus is villain. Villain, it is incredible. Uh, Far Cry always has one of the best main villains. Um, now. Here's a little bit of a negative. I, actually, it's not negative. It's a nitpicking thing. In fact, I have two nitpicking things. One is regarding the way you get to approach this final villain in the game, right? One of them is basically 
you have to take out three lieutenants more or less right or officers not officers but lieutenants right in this case you have to take out three particular people and so you get to the final villain right this always has been done like this in far cry games and it's kind of annoying to be honest with you you know i would much rather uh you know I don't know mix things up a little bit more is because this is the route with far cry and maybe that's the reason why they don't want to change it because it's a symbol of far cry but again i think that actually it's overly used now we had six far cry games even more than that far more than that in fact and so you know i feel like changing up the formula would be best in this case but again that's just me another nitpicking thing and i think this might be the last thing it's regarding spanish language so if you guys know um, a little bit of Spanish or at least a lot of Spanish, whatever, right? Like currently I'm in the process, I'm, you know, intermediate, maybe amateur kind of Spanish that I that I know. You know, same, uh, no same mucho más, but it, I don't know much, right? But basically, like when I listen to these characters, especially what they say and their accent, right? The accent is good. I definitely can hear that they have some kind of accent as very good in terms of that but again there's definitely an accent going on because remember they're speaking in english and then they're going to spanish and saying like viva la, la libertad and so they go like that and they go crazy and then they go partying and stuff like this and there's plenty of uh, spanish music as well as awesome uh, so <laughs> after uh, seeing this as well and after when they get uh, go to ojo por ojo and I'm just like questioning it. Wait, is this really what Spanish people say? And then I thought that I was kind of losing my mind a little bit because like the things that they say specifically, it's as if uh, the developers or script writers, right? They went on Google Translator and literally translated some of the English words to Spanish words. So particular quotes would have been said in Spanish. And I'm just like a little bit puzzled it's like wait, I no Spanish people won't say these particular lines And so I'm not crazy. I looked it up plenty of articles plenty of people and plenty of Spanish people mind you are saying the same thing things that they say just don't make damn sense and as well as some of the things that they name uh, in the world of on the map just it's not very it doesn't make sense basically that's all i gotta say but again that's just a nitpicking thing like i said these are two nitpicking things okay now uh, let's get into more of an open world of itself right it's a beautiful map beautiful world even though it's a little bit dated now in terms of the engine it definitely needs a little bit of an upgrade far cry 7 please give us an upgrade and help change up the formula a little bit a lot of ways of course uh, but of course the size of it that is quite daunting uh, at first, when you look at the map, you're just like, oh, okay, this is pretty big, uh, but it's not ginormous, thankfully. But yet, you know, when you go through the main story, the missions, you get to explore all of the map, right? At least to particular uh, areas and sites and whatnot. So the first thing what I did is obvious. I, uh, you know, I crafted a camp that unlocks like pretty much all of the, uh, you know, safe houses that I can teleport or not teleport but fast travel and get to my destination much quicker but because of this doesn't incentivize me to actually explore the map but again the map isn't exactly very particularly interesting you know even though it's not barren and thankfully far cry i don't believe far cry ever had like an issue of being barren map and boring right it's always plenty of things to see and yeah there is definitely life within them that's a good thing but yet again, you know, something about this, because the gameplay is somewhat same, samey, it isn't, isn't very entertaining to be going from point A or B. Thankfully, of course, we do have like a wingsuit, parachutes, helicopters, planes, different um, mounts of uh, vehicles, right? Horse riding, like I said, vehicles themselves, bikes, off-roading, or uh, uh, the boats or jet skis, right? There's plenty of options for you to traverse through. And that definitely is a bonus, at least personally for myself. But yet again, you know, you know, we've seen this since Far Cry 3 already. Far Cry 4 has been done it again. New Dawn has been done it again. Far Cry 5 has done it again. Uh, hell, even Far Cry Primal to a certain degree has done that too. You see what I mean? Like this is what I'm saying. The F IP needs a little bit of a change up. A little bit of something needs to be included or uh, thought out or at least changed in a lot of ways. 
Now, there are a few issues with this game in terms of the bugs and glitches. I have encountered a few bugs and glitches, one of them in particular that I just... There's a platform and I cannot go up it, uh, up on top of it. And there's a ladder, I can't go up the ladder, as if I just go phase right through that ladder. You know, there's some things that textures and stuff just did not load up. Of course, it's, it is pretty normal, I assume. There's a lot of performance issues, a lot, especially, not especially when there's too many enemies, but there's some particular areas of the map that kind of drops the frame rates. It feels like at least it goes drops to like, I don't know, 20 FPS. I, it's not the PlayStation, I 100% know that. It's just something about the optimization of the game. It's weird, it's very weird. Well, in terms of the mission structure, I think it's one of the last things I'll mention. Uh, I liked mission structure and the way of actually progressing through through the story, right? I liked it. It was quite entertaining. It was definitely enjoyable. Now, sure, uh, they are weird areas that just don't make sense let me explain one of the things at the beginning of the game if you played it uh you know it's getting very dark very gritty and so you're pretty much the only survivor and so obviously uh, like you know you kind of want to escape all of this you want to go to america you want to get out of here you want to get out of yara and so after this you're just like questioning it should i stay and why should i stay there's not much of a reason for me to stay and the reason why they keep you here holding is just because of one dude that he's been killed i believe so or at least he was captured right and so i'm just like i don't give a shit i don't i don't know him and i don't care to know him so i just just leave you know like I just there's no motivation to stay right and so after even if you do stay uh, you know you go continue through far cry game the story some of the moments are in the and the instances of during the meets up and stuff there's plenty of characters are very very goofy and they're very kind of not comedic because they're not funny but very goofy like you know and so i just from a dark, greedy game to becoming a goofy sort of a game, uh, not being serious in tone, even though it began quite seriously. Like again, we know how Far Cry likes to begin. Very serious, dark in tone, and like fantastic as well. And Far Cry 6 was fantastic, uh, like the introduction, the startup was fantastic. But then it just kind of went its Far Cry, uh, Far Cry route. Why not just keep a whole Far Cry experience like, like, like the opening act? That was amazing. And of course, I mean, I get a why, because like, you know, it's Ubisoft, you know, we can't expect much out of them, but still, kind of makes you question, doesn't it? At least personally, it did for me. Anyway, guys, I feel like I kind of, you know, mentioned everything that I wanted to. Uh, perhaps one last thing I want to say, I would not mind seeing Far Cry being a, becoming a third person perspective. If, if, I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with me here, but like, give us an option maybe and i mean after experiencing and going to the camps and you traverse through the uh, third person perspective point of view i think it actually works eh, but that's just me all right then. thank you so much for watching guys uh like and subscribe and if i would have to give it a score perhaps i'll give it like maybe a six or seven out of ten it's a good game it's just a good game have a wonderful day guys